All right, Hard City, welcome back to the shop today. We are at the 600 mile mark, actually 700 miles on the Ninja 400. So today we're gonna change the oil and also install these driven rear axle spools. That is for a bike lift for the rear tire and uh, just makes maintenance the bike a lot easier, which I do not have yet, which would be nice. Uh, but to change the oil, we'll do it the old fashioned way with the kickstand and all that, like most of you guys will probably have. Um, so the tools that you'll need, we'll do for in a second, but first thing you're going to do for oil change is uh, warm up the bike. So you're going to warm this thing up for like, I don't know, that's probably about good. You don't want it to be burning your hand. Uh, you want the oil as warm, about as warm as to touch, you know, and the engine casing, the, the clutch casing there. Uh, you don't want it so hot where it burns and you can't work on it. But you don't, also don't want it cool. You want the oil to be warm when it comes out and pretty warm when it, you know, the engine warmed up when it goes in. So pretty easy job. Um, tools you'll need and I'll talk about the oil. So the k and filter, pretty basic, nothing really extravagant here. Motul 3000. Use any oil you want, as long as it's 10W40, it meets the manufacturer specs. Check the manual, I'll leave the specs below as well. Uh, I'll just copy and paste them, so <clears throat> not my own specs. Uh, tools. For the rear axle spools, you're going to need a 3 mil Allen and some thread locker. Locker, sorry. For the drain plug, 17 mil socket. I have, you know, all these tools. You can uh, use some basic stuff. You have 17 mil wrench, that'll work too. And if you have a ratchet strap, oil filter strap that's cool if you're going to take the bottom cow off which i'm only going to do for the sake of this video you do not have to do this uh, you can totally get to the oil filter without doing that but for the sake of the video i'll take the rear cow off for the cow and a little screwdriver to take the clip off the front 17 mil drain plug this thing's hot enough now we can uh yeah it's good enough shut her down and I'm um, gonna we'll start. Oh, another thing you're gonna need, obviously, is some kind of a drain. I will take the old oil and put it in an old quart, and then take it to AutoZone later time, and they'll dispose of it for me. Uh, if you have gloves and shop rags, that won't hurt. And let's jump into this thing. It's a super easy job. Anybody can do this. You do not have to be a mechanic to do this. Um, you won't ruin, you know, the bike. It's just put. Any oil you want in there, you don't have to use Motul, Super Duper, 10W40, just, you know, Oil Purple, Valvoline, Mobile, Kawasaki oil, whatever you want to put in there is fine. As long as it's not automotive oil, that will destroy your friction plates and your clutch. Do not do that. Uh, all right, let's get started. Now, for your cow on the front, like I said, 5 mil. We'll pop that off. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a 5 mil. Or no, that's a 4. I'm sorry. So four mil, it's, I got, I'm reading it backwards. Four mil here, the back one's gonna be a five. Now I'm only taking this off because it can be easier to get to the uh, oil filter, which I do not have a strap for. So hopefully we can get that off. We should be able to. If not, I'll have to go run the auto zone and get a strap, which is not a big deal. But my K&N filter, you'll be able to take off with one of those nuts, which is kind of stupid. So a couple of four mils. Don't use that little plastic washer. Like I almost just did. And a five mil back here. You don't have, like I said, you do not have to do this. Like the drain plug, oil drain plugs right there. It's a 17 mil, it's easy to get to. You don't have to. Do that, and then this Christmas tree plug, let me see, or little plug here. You need to stick a little screwdriver here and here. Pop that out, be careful, the header gonna be hot. Here's your drain plug, 17 mil, and there's your oil filter. Super easy to get to. Yeah, a pair of channel locks. One trick you can do is loosen the cap or take it off completely 
for the oil there. And when you do that, that'll allow that oil to flow out of the uh, drain pan a lot easier. All right, so just loosen that or take it off. I just loosen it, that's fine. Come over here, drain underneath. Mm -hmm. It's a little turn there, and this is gonna come right out of here, guys. So get ready. There's gonna be a washer on this that you don't wanna lose either. All right, oops. There's your bolt, don't lose that washer. You're gonna need that. Get that oil drain out of there. This is a lot easier when you have a bike stand, obviously, but I don't have one yet. Now the Ninja 400 takes 2.1 quarts, so you're gonna need three quarts of oil, all right, or one liter. Um, I've seen guys flush with a little bit, like they'll, they'll drain the oil like this and then flush the oil with new, new oil just to get the, all of it out. That is absolutely pointless. You're literally, quite literally wasting oil at that point. The, the bike, no, it's, it'll be fine, okay? Um, there's, there, what you're doing right now is removing metal shavings. I know that sounds, oh my God, metal shavings. New gears, new, uh, all these new parts, metal inside the engine. Um, it's gonna grind and create little microscopic shavings that you'll never be able to see with your naked eye, but are, are in the oil. Um, and that's all you're doing is removing that. If you really wanna dump oil, like a, a tiny bit of oil in your uh, filler, to drain the last bit out of there, if you're really worried about it, fine. Uh, I've never heard of anyone doing that. I've seen one guy do it on YouTube. I'm like, that's kind of like OCD crazy. Uh, but hey, to each is their own, do your own thing. I don't find it necessary. So um, once that oil drains, now you're gonna go ahead and actually take the oil filter itself off. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed a pair of these real quick at Menards. They'll get these off. We'll filter off pretty easily. So if you look here, I don't know if you guys can see. I might have to take the phone off here, maybe not. There's your oil filter right there. Here's the rest of the oil coming out from that. So while the rest of the oil is draining out of there for a few minutes, this is a good time to fill the oil filter up with some oil. You wanna do that, you probably be able to do that about two times and um, put a little bit of oil around the ring and I'll show you guys that. All right, so you're just gonna fill your oil filter up a few times here. Be careful with these K&N ones. Uh, because they're not going to sit up on their own, so don't just lean them because they're going to fall over. Fill that up there just until it reaches that fill line, which is where the top of the threads are. That's where we're going to fill it. So let it soak up, and you know, we'll put this last bit in there. Clean up your, you're going to have a little bit of oil want to come out of there, and just put that. Do not cross thread this. If it's not going in super easy, stop. It should just go right in there, nice and easy. Finger tight it for now. All right, now you can get your wrench here or socket. Not super tight, just snug it and you're good. All right, now our oil filter. Completely already drained. All right, so we're gonna keep filling that up until it's filled to the top. Like I said, it's gonna soak up all the oil, so. And you definitely wanna do that, otherwise 
when you put the filter on, if you don't do this, when you put the filter on, you're gonna be keep adding oil and adding oil. And then when you start the bike and run it, the oil is gonna splash around, get into the filter, and you're gonna be low on oil and you're gonna keep having to add oil. So this will get you on a better target with the uh, amount of oil you need to put in the bike right out of the gate. The one that I already opened, that's gonna be my one I always fill the oil filter with and tap it off with. You're gonna always go with two quarts. Two quarts is gonna go in right away or one liter. Um, that's gonna automatically, the bike's gonna eat up two quarts easily. So I'm gonna start with these and then top it off with the one I already opened. That'll give you a more accurate measurement of what you're putting in the bike. You know what I mean? Because here it's like, oh, how much did I do? Whatever, oh, you know. So that's all there. Now I'm gonna dump that bad oil in here and that's how I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. good and also at this point I'm going to uh, lean the bike over check the fill line side glass here and there's your low line there's your line where you need to be at the top one uh, so we'll put the bike straight a little bit more 2.1 we should be right there guys and we're ready to go for a good ride Now, what is 2.1, you ask? Well, that is until it gets to the line. <laughs> All right, so just lean her over, we're there. That's it. That's good enough. That's actually a little bit too much, but that's okay. All right, if you put too much oil in, like I did, do not worry. So I'll show you, I put a little bit too much in. When I tip the bike over, don't know if you guys will be able to see. I'll try to show you. When I have the bike up, it's full. You want, see the glass how it's full? You want that to be, you want to see the top of that a little bit, all right? So there's too much oil in the bike. Unplug just a little tiny bit. Crack it loose. There's your drain plug, all right? And just let a little bit out and keep checking it. Don't take it all the way out. Just a little bit. I understand some of you may be new at this and, and whatever. Don't You don't wanna ride the bike like that. Get it to the right spot. It's not a big deal. All right, just drain a little bit out. Don't take this bolt all the way out. Just loosen it enough to where oil is gonna start coming out of it. All right. There you go. That's it. Now you go check. That's all you do. Just loosen it up a little bit. Let a little, a little bit of oil come out of it. It's all good. No reason to cause panic. And don't. There's no reason to let it go like that. And be like, oh, it's fine. I have it too full. If the oil is too full inside that chamber, and you can start blowing seals and gaskets and stuff like that, and you do not want to do that. Uh, so just get it to where it's supposed to be. It's not a big deal. All right, guys, I almost forgot about the rear axle spools. So for these, you have the washer, you have another like kind of washer here, and then the axle spool itself. And you're just going to put, oh, by the way, these are a five mil. Nope, not a five. I guess that's going to be a six. Yes, yeah, so six mil Allen. Like I said, I don't have my T handles, but those will work if you have them. All right, little bit of thread locker, blue on the threads here. Should be a little hole, uh, bolt hole already for it, ready to go. Washer, gold washer goes in first. Just go ahead and start turning that in there. Again, be careful not to cross thread it. If it's not going in easy, then it's not going in right. And keep this where you want it, obviously. You know, the letters, if you want it facing up, or maybe you don't care, that's fine. I kind of like it so it looks good. I'm not overly concerned about where it is, but. And that's it, snug those in there. Give it one more just in case. Good. 
that's it. Yeah, same on the other side. Don't need to show you the other side. Same exact thing. All right, so that's it. <laughs> well, next step is obviously putting the cow back on, putting your cap back on for your fill plug. And that's it. That's, that's all it takes. So super, super easy to do. Anybody could do it, like I said. And um, that's really it, guys. That's it for this video. Like I said, I got, I'm going to go shopping for a new helmet. Should have a GoPro set up in a few weeks here. I have a really, really nice ride planned out um, up to Prairie du Chien and the Great River Road. If any of you guys heard that, it basically follows the Mississippi River. And uh, it's going to be awesome, really beautiful ride. And uh, really looking forward to that. It's nice out. It's about 80. 89 degrees out today so uh, i'm gonna gear up and go for a ride and i will see you guys in the next one until then love you all peace